previously on board. This is urgent. Joined on the phone now by a new chief of athletics in South Africa, that is Hendrik Romale, former uh, South African athlete as well, top class South African athlete. Hendrik, how's it going? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Uh, very good. Nice to chat to you today, despite the thunder and lightning that's uh, that's going all around us. And uh, there have been a few storms in athletics over the last few uh, few months as well. Um, are we are we going to see more? Or do you think that it's going to die down now? No, I th- I think it's about time we move on. Mm. Uh, we have serious issues in athletics. We have programs and projects to to work on. We we can't be delayed by one man. I mean, yeah. we can't be delayed by an individual. And also, but I mean, the fact is that uh, the way we see it, that there is no money in athletics as well, and and uh, you know the wrangling that's been going on is not not helping getting more funding into athletics, so uh, which is desperately needed. We'll move on. We have done some few applications for for funding for bailouts. Uh, government, the Ministry of Sports is aware of it. We spoke to them. Uh, Organisations like SASCOC are aware of our problems and uh, we are speaking to some other companies and they are keen to help and uh, yeah, and SABC is on board, we have the right fee, so I think it's about time we we move, we move on with the sport itself and leave what happened on Saturday. Mm-hmm. What happened on Saturday mm-hmm. on the 9th happened Impeachment was voted. People voted in favor of impeachment and removal of Mr. Evans, and that's what happened. He was not there to defend himself. He didn't want to uh, to exercise his constitutional right. He chose to go to the media and and not address his own members. Mm. So the members, after four hours of, and I mean more than four hours of deliberation. Uh, decided that they will go for the motion, 33 to 1 and 4 abstaining. All right, yeah, we know the vote was pretty much overwhelming. Uh, let's just get uh, a couple of those points, first of all. Um, w- and let's go back to SASCOC, the government, and also uh, interested, p- potentially interested uh, sponsors and, and people that are, that are you say, are involved like the SABC. What has been their response to what happened on Saturday? I mean, you've obviously spoken to all the different parties. What is their stance? Where are they on this thing now? I mean, what is their position? Uh, we, we had the... Uh, uh, I mean, we had people, neutral people in the meeting to observe the meeting. They saw the process and no complaints. They think that it was done well. The notice was on time. Everything was explained to the members and... We had a problem, board members couldn't keep quiet about it. They had to come out and 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 and, and change things mm. so that the sport can move forward. I, I saw somewhere that uh, that it was mentioned that um, if if Mr. Evans had actually made uh, the attempt and made it down to the meeting, that uh, the outcome might have been uh, different. Can you can you explain that? I would say maybe the outcome would have been different if he didn't try to stop the meeting. You know, he, we called the meeting, notice was out, everything explained. What does he do? He, he sent members a respond, he denies everything, which is fine. Right? He, he has a right to, to defend himself. But don't say the meeting can't happen. Yeah. He said the meeting can't happen which is wrong. The notice is out, it's, it was a, a constitutional, it was legal. So he should have attended, he should have encouraged members to come in numbers. And then he should have convinced his own supporters to come and vote for, for uh, to vote against the motion. He didn't, he didn't attend his people, his members, some of his members and supporters didn't pitch up also. Unfortunately for him, we got a quorum. Yeah. So because I mean, I think it was just for four or five provinces not making it, with two giving apologies and three saying they are, they are not attending because they think the motion is unconstitutional. But and now, we try to explain to people: uh, don't judge, don't judge, don't judge the constitutionality of of the thing. 
let's go and, and get experts and, and to, I'm saying I'm using the same constitution but members are using the same constitution Mr. Evans is using the same constitution how do how does it come with a story saying it's not un, it's unconstitutional while we are saying it's constitutional so the matter was thoroughly debated on Saturday mm. and then it was found that actually all requirements were met the meeting could have, take place and the vote could play would take place what about his assertion that uh, he didn't go down because uh, his flights weren't paid for ah, it's, it, that one is you know it's a, it's a story uh, uh, it's friday night before the meeting and after the after the, the meeting mm-hmm. he had the means of paying for the organization he has authorization here he's a head of finance you know he's he's he will normally he's him and the finance men paying for things. So he could have had the flight paid for, but by uh, what ASA? Yeah, the flight was booked for him. I personally called the travel agent to do the bookings. The, it is in writing; it was booked. The only thing remained was to pay for it, which is normal procedure. Mm. Him and the finance man should have said, "Okay, there is a flight booked. Let's let's release that 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 booking, and yeah. then he could have been here." But we know he told these members not to come because he wasn't going to come. So some people listened to him. They, okay. they, they didn't come. And the majority came because they wanted to hear more about this matter, to judge for themselves, not to allow an individual to judge for them. So that's what happened. Um, Hendrik, sorry about that. Hendrik, um, Mr. Evans also, he said that um, you did not ask him to respond to the allegations and um, he wasn't asked to state his case. Is that true? I mean, for 21 days we were receiving emails every day. He was stating his case. He, he chose to, to, to defend by email and by, you know, media. He was, I mean, I think now you, you have seen it. He's on TV, he's on the newspapers. He's everywhere. He's defending, still defending the case. I mean, the thing happened on Saturday, 9th. We are already on Wednesday. We need to move on. Mm. Is he has been impeached and he has been removed. Yeah. Is if he wants to argue this matter, arbitration is, is an option. High court is an option. Is there a? I mean, is there a? Is there a? Is there a place still for him if he if he wants to, um, you know, sit down and and discuss, or is that now done, dusted as far as because uh, he's claiming he's saying he wants to go and take this to court now. Take it to court, but his own members have voted. The members of Athletic South Africa has voted thirty three one. In the boardroom, there are seven members out of eleven saying. We don't want you anymore. We have lost confidence in you. And there are two members who are quiet. Mm. And there's one who's supporting him. Those are facts. So if he wants to come back to the boardroom, I don't know how he's going to do it. If he wants to come back into the uh, sport, his members are saying, we have voted you out. Mm. We don't have confidence in you. He can go fight in the courts and win the battles maybe if, if, he, if, he, if he convinced them. And we can't convince them. But yeah. where, oh, who is he gonna run? Now? Because his members are saying, no, we don't want you. In the boardroom is worse. Members don't want him. Mm. There are nine, seven against, two quiet, one for him. So how how is he gonna run the board? All right. Well, look now, as you say, and they said in the beginning, it's time to move forward. And I think everyone wants to see athletics move forward, and uh, and and quite frankly, not see what's going on in the boardroom, but more see our athletes performing on the track. Uh, but again, the financial issues. I mean, uh, and I mean these flights, and and, and this this meeting, uh, you know, costing more money from uh, from the coffers, which which you guys don't have. So, I mean, what is the first priority now? What is the first thing we should be looking out for from no, the medics' sorry, point of view? Sorry to yeah. interrupt. Yes. The flights were not paid by Athletic South Africa. Who were they paid by? Because South Af- Athletic South Africa doesn't have funds. <laughs> Who paid them? He, he couldn't pay. F- he had the means of paying, so he couldn't pay for it. Provinces are not bankrupt. We have province, stronger provinces. They are financially stable. Members of Athletic South Africa are financially stable. And individual in, a, in, in individual members in Athletic South Africa are are, not, are are financially stable. 
just athletic South Africa, just these mother bodies is is going through a cash flow crisis, mm. and we 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 are going to we are going to get out of it soon. We SAB assigned will be getting. We'll, we, are see, we are talking to government and SASCOC about the bailout. Uh, they, they, they still love us. They still love our athletes. They still our, love the kids out there. They know this sport doesn't belong to the board members. How is it in the kids? Pendrick, how is it in a situation where the provinces, uh, not all of them, but as you say, some of them are financially stable and they, they're healthy, and yet our national body isn't? I mean, surely. Surely you would imagine that uh, if the province is stable, you'd expect ASA to be stable as well. I mean, is, is there no, uh, are they, do they operate completely in isolation of each other? Yeah, it's in isolation. I mean, a, a province like Central Routing mm. has 20, over 20,000 members, registered athletes, over, I think, 400 clubs or 200 clubs. They are all pay membership. I mean, individual athletes and individual clubs are pay membership, and and then they have their own sponsors. The province has its own sponsor. You know, they are well run. Yeah. The provinces like the Western Province, like out the North Pretoria, stable. They can fly their athletes where they can. They are semi autonomous, but they are they are they are you know they are under Athletic South Africa. Yeah. Mm, so Athletic South Africa. I mean, you know the history. Uh, there are always allegations of financial mismanagement, you know. And then, of course, we we are, we, we are running on a bigger scale. Yeah. Our projects are are more expensive than the provincial projects. We take, we take teams overseas and to you know, so the budgets are bigger. Yeah. It's, it's very easy to 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 run out of money here in okay. Athletic South Africa. So now I mean, sorry, and and all our sponsors. Have gone. I mean, we used yeah. to have NetBank, Yellow Pages, all those, and other smaller sponsors. They are all gone. Well, you can understand why. I mean, when we're reading about this kind of stuff, as opposed to the actual performance of the athletes, and then the question I wanted to ask you is: Are, are they? Uh, as we move forward now, uh, the priority should focus uh, shift back to the athletes. And when you start, do get funding in from whether it's SABC or whatever. I mean, are there athletes there that are owed money by ASA at the moment, but there are no funds to pay them, and are they the priority? When those funds come in, that they, you know, they will be the first to basically benefit from whatever funding comes into athletics. Yeah, that, that's that's what we are, we are looking forward to. Get money, pay the athletes and the staff. The staff, the staff members are, are some of them are missing because they haven't got, they haven't been paid mm. after promises and promise of 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 them being paid that they will be paid by the end of the month. Two weeks later, they are still not paid. At least haven't been paid prize money since uh, uh, last year. I mean, M May and August championships. Yeah, they're still mm. awaiting those money. It's like the people what? that work here at this radio station. Same situation. Oh shame! <laughs> Except we've never been paid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but we were yeah. going to we going to go through it. What is happening was necessary because you know you we can't keep quiet. We are if board members and 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 the members. Of uh, the uh, council members are not happy. They must do something about a problem. If there's a problem, it must be solved. It must yeah. be sorted out. It's just, it's just that it's now it's been blown out of proportion. Yeah. A motion has been set out. It was voted. Uh, people voted in favor. And then we're moving on. And that's a good place to leave it there. Moving on, we'll be watching closely to see how things start uh, improving with Athletic South Africa, hopefully, and that we can, uh, as Since we say... improve. Things will improve. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing that happening, Hendrik, because I think that's uh, in the general public and athletics fans, that's all they want to see is just, um, yeah, I mean, athletes being happy and, and, and our athletics running uh, like a smooth ship again. We appreciate your time this afternoon. Thank you very much for joining us on Balls Radio and Mix 93.8 FM. We well, thank you very much. Eh? Cheers, Hendrik. Bye bye. Yes, bye. Right. There we go, Hendrik Romala. Yes. I don't know if I agree with him about it being blown out of proportion. It's pretty serious. Well, that's the thing. I mean, once again, it's what is the focus? It's what is the fo what do the people want to see? They want to see our athletes getting what they deserve and uh, getting rewarded for what they do, and we want to see uh, performances of that because this affects everything. It's like a trickle down thing. It's you know, if it, things are not happy up top, it trickles down, and then you, you start you know you start wondering why. 
our athletes are performing, etc. If they're not getting the backing from their own um, their own association because they don't have the money and they're not getting paid yeah. and they're not getting the support that they need, well, there you can see the explanation. So, uh, all we can do is just sit and wait and see if it does improve. You know, I don't know if we're going to see the end of this uh, as yet. It might yeah, still carry on, drag, drag on and on and on as uh, boardroom power struggles continue in athletics. This is Balls Visual Radio. Darren, Simon, Kate and John. Weekdays from 3pm to 6pm Central African Time. Balls.co.za